Now, before you start the calibration process, it really is important that you have built your Otto carefully following the instructions how to align the servos correctly so that they're square, so that they're centralized, set at 90 degrees. Um, and when you've done so, your Otto, you should find that your legs and your feet are perfectly aligned. Now, what's more likely to happen than not is that when you come round to uploading your first piece of code uh, and you turn Otto on, this happens. Okay, so the legs, you can see, readjust away from being centralized carefully the way that you have done it. Now, this is perfectly normal. Okay, this is because on the horn, you only have 21 positions where the servo can fit to the horn. This means that there is a range of angles um, physically that you can connect the legs and the feet to Otto. And what that means is that when the code then says to Otto, all of your feet and your legs are in the central position, they don't look centralized anymore. And this is the stage that you need to calibrate Otto. Okay, so this process is not difficult. You will only need to do it once, um, but there are two important pieces of code uh, that you need to be using. Okay, one of them will be Blockly code, which you will uh, connect up to Otto, upload to Otto, so he's able to receive the calibration commands. And the second piece of software is an executable file where you can calibrate Otto using a graphical interface. Okay, so this is what we're gonna be up to now. We're gonna be making sure that these legs and feet are carefully aligned. Okay, so the software that um, I have put up for you, let's not quite, not that one yet. Okay, let's go to this, so I want downloads. Okay, so what I've um, put onto the site is the uh, a zip file uh, for the auto servo calibration. And if you open up the zip file, uh, so unzip this, you will find um, two folders, a 32-bit application, 64-bit application, which we'll look at in a minute, and the auto servo calibration block. So you'll need to open this up in Blockly and upload that code to Otto. So let's do that first. Okay, so Blockly. All right, so we're in Blockly. <clears throat> and actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, um, we'll see this being connected to Otto. Okay, so we're in Blockly um, and we're now gonna be uploading the code to Otto. So connect him up. So this is the first important stage. Okay, so all of that's done. And select your USB port from the drop-down box <clears throat> and upload the code to Otto. So it obviously runs through its little check. longer than normal okay so that took a bit longer because I've been playing around with different com ports but you should now find that you've got the code uploaded to Otto um, and everything now should be uh, good to go okay so at this stage you unplug Otto Okay, fine. Right, so nothing's been aligned yet, and we now need to go to the, the graphical interface. So, <clears throat> depending on uh, which uh, uh, version of Windows you've got, whether you've got 32-bit or 64-bit, you'll, you'll choose whichever application you need. I have a 64-bit uh, Windows 10, and this is the executable file that you need. This must be... You must leave these files together. The data files, this will not run unless it's within this folder. Okay, so run it from the folder. You'll only need to run it once. And if you run this, again, the USB should be disconnected from Otto. And you will see this. So this is the servo calibration program. Um, and at the moment, you can see that the USB has got a red cross on it. Okay, so as soon as you connect up Otto, 
hopefully you'll be able to see this. I'll just double check that I can actually, I'll put that over here. And yeah, so I'm gonna be connecting this up. Let's see if I can, <clears throat> yeah, that's okay. Okay, so I can more or less see what's going on now. So I'm gonna connect this up to Otto. And you can now see that the USB red cross has become a green tick. So we're good to go now to calibrate Otto. Okay, so there are two ways. Well, in fact, um, with the design, you've got the slider to calibrate Otto. Okay, so let's just take this back a little bit so that you can see what's going on. <clears throat> um, and when you hover over any part of Otto, so for instance, if you're calibrating the servo for the right leg, you will see that it's highlighted in red in the graphical interface. Now, if you want to use the slider, this gives you much broader sweep and control on the leg. So you don't get fine adjustment with this, but this will give you a quick way to get the leg more or less aligned. <clears throat> and then you can do the fine adjustments with the either the plus, you can see the leg just twisting around there slightly, or the minus. So do the two legs in turn, so whichever order you wish to do them. So to me, that right leg looks okay now. Uh, the left leg is a little bit out, so I will just adjust that. Okay, so the left leg is done now for me, but you can see the feet are not quite right. So again, the left foot, as I'm on the left foot slider, you'll see the left foot is red now, and I've got control on the left foot. So get it close to, to square, and then if you need to just fine adjust, then you can using the plus or minus buttons. Okay, so that's that's sorted. So just do the right foot now. Okay, that's looking pretty good to me now. Um, so Otto looks pretty square. You may get a little bit of parallax from the uh, from the camera angle. But I'm going to put him on the ground just to check that the feet are square on the ground, and I can see that this foot is slightly up. So I will just adjust that like that. Okay, so that is Otto nice and square. The legs are all aligned and you can put him through his test. So if you just do a walk test, now be careful with this. If you've got a USB cable connected, um, it does have a tendency to twist Otto and he may look like he's not walking in a straight line when in fact he is. So just hold the USB cable up, click on walk test, yeah, that's looking pretty good to me. Um, so just put that run through that. Just check everything over. Maybe you want to just adjust the let the right leg, sorry, by one degree. Yeah, that looks better to me. I can try another walk test again. Okay, and he will after the walk test, he will then automatically go back to home. Okay, so everything looks aligned to me now. Um, and all you have to do is press save. Done. So now Otto has that uh, those servo positions saved in memory on that particular Nano. So of course, if you change the, the Nano inside your Otto, you will need to go through the servo calibration again. But as long as you're keeping um, the, the, the Nano together with, with these servos, then it will be loaded every time that you turn auto on. Okay, so that's the calibration program.